car for $119 a month. What was your first car, Fantasia? A Ford Focus from American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't have to get a car until you got you on American Idol. Yeah, they give yeah, you a they car. They give you a car. Like I had a silver Ford Focus. <laughs> I couldn't even drive then. <laughs> I gave it to my mom. Did you have a driver's license? Not at that time. I remember Ruben got like a T-Bird or something, and he gave that to his, to his mother. Mom. Yeah. I gave it to mama. <laughs> good old Ford Falcon. That good old Ford Falcon. Does she so still excited? have it? No. We outgrew the focus. Okay, good. But, you know, that was, you know. Everybody got to grow up. <laughs> Everybody got to grow up. Speaking of American Idol, though, um, I don't know how to bring. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily know how to bring this up. Go ahead. You, you ain't gotta bite your tongue. Okay. You seem to be the only black person from American Idol that has had some sort of longevity in terms of lasting from the contest, the reality show, game show, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I, of course, I always say that. Ruben, you know, he reminded us of like, who who did he remind you of when you heard? Luther Vandross. Luther. I feel like the label should have took him another direction when it came to the music. Because mm. he could have been our next Luther. Yeah. Everybody loved him. Everybody, and they still do, but once you start, and that's, that's the thing, and that's why I love being independent, because sometimes they could throw you the wrong records. And I think that's what happened with Rube. Yeah. Who else? I don't even remember any more black people. Oh, well, obviously Jennifer Hudson. Oh, yeah. Um, well, she's you know, doing she's that done thing. Big she's, things. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then I don't. Who? No, there was no, uh, uh, a. Uh, her name's Jordan with a T. Jordan Sparks. Jordan Sparks. Uh, t t t Trinice? 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 You don't. Uh, Trinice? Y'all don't remember Trinice? Trinice from America? <laughs> I must have, maybe that was the second well, American Idol. Which number were you on? No, I was third. So it was it was Kelly, Ruben, okay. then me. Oh, okay. So then maybe Trinice was further down. Um, you know, it's been a lot of. It's been America. a lot. But they don't even, like, black people don't even win no more, so. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I think, I mean, the new show right now is is The Voice. Yeah. Yeah. And and I like it because they don't they don't hold a lot of rules and you know you got to be this you got to be that I like it they turn the chair around so it's not about what the looks it's about the gift down. yeah so yeah. that's the that's the spot right now yeah absolutely and 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 I do like the voice because you don't have to be a certain age no. and so it puts a, it doesn't put limitations on your gift and how Pretty far much. you can go with your gift yep. what do you think about age when it comes to music do you think it's ever too late for people to no I don't. I sure don't. There's this lady, I cannot think of her name. I'm going to Google her before I leave here. Her voice is amazing. When I found out her age, I was just like, y'all lying. You're lying. But she's... Oh, she's, we got to find out who she is. I'm finna find out. We got to find out. I'm a, but I'm her, voice is, she's got her voice is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Do you ever think that your label will start to develop artists? I do. Just not right now. Mm -hmm. Because I... If when I do that, I want to be able to cater to them and give them everything that they need. I can't do that right now because I'm so busy focusing on myself yeah, and, and getting, you know, building a brand. But when I do, I want to give them everything that, you know, that they deserve. Mm -hmm. And do... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you be tripping me out. This is how I know she about to ask me something because she start laughing. She'll look off and be like, okay. I do look off. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I hate you for knowing this. <laughs> I know. Anyway, I, no, I want to talk about your man. Uh -oh. So on Instagram, y'all got a little something on Instagram. I don't think you do it all the time. Yeah, but, but Taylor Talk. Yeah, Taylor Talk. What's, mm -hmm. like, what's the concept there? What happened was... Because you're all up in love and stuff. You know what I'm I, saying? I mean, Tasia, so sis, we got to talk mean. about love. We got to get a sister's <laughs> hope out here. Ah, I think that day uh, we had posted something in the studio one night and it was like the the end of a song. Um, and it was just the beat. Just the beat. And it made it on the Shade Room and, and, and YouTube and everybody was like, no, she needs to go back to... No singing. Just the beat. And... I looked at some of the comments, and I normally don't look at comments, and I guess because we got a new album coming out, it's independent. I looked, and I was just like, yo, the world can be so mean. Mm -hmm. And that's when I came up with the social media murderers because social media is so big right now. I feel like people use that platform to just 
do whatever they want, say whatever they want. And you don't understand, I'm not just talking about celebrities, I'm just talking about people in general. I watch people go back and forth on, what is it, tw- on Twitter, yeah. fa- like, Facebook, they actually yeah. argue. People they will act- go on your page mm-hmm. and argue with someone else and be going back and forth on your personal page, arguing with somebody else on your right. page. And that's when God was like, I, I, he gave me this thing of the Taylor Talks and getting on and putting something positive on social media instead of the negative and actually inspire, inspiring people um, instead of putting people down. There's so much power in your tongue. Mm. It really is. But the Bible says that. Yeah. And you can say something that will kill a person. And you don't know if they were almost there, if they were just right there. And they just, that one thing you said, suicide, they, they take their lives because it's so big. The platform is so big that they just embarrass each other and they talk about each other and they they uh, they downgrade each other. And that's the thing in our, in our community that I want to stop as black people. Once we realize who we are and we come together, we're forced to be reckoned with. Mm. We, we will be. But we've got to come together. we got to let go of the crab mentality. Mm. And we've got to lift each other up instead of putting each other down. So that's how we came up with the Taylor Talks. Do you think that black people have the ability to mobilize and come together and create a certain amount of wealth within our own communities? Do you think that that is something that is realistic? <laughs> Hmm. I'm praying. Let's just say I'm praying for that to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we gotta dig deeper. We gotta dig deeper. Gotta dig deeper in that in that word, that book, that thing called the Bible. Mm-hmm. That book lets us know who we are, but we don't dig deep in it. And I ain't gonna go because we can. I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to. You but, ain't offending nobody on this show. We are. Um, we are the chosen ones, and that's why we go through so much. Mm. And we've been taught to attack each other. That started way back in the Willie Lynch, like way back. Yeah, we've been taught to 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 um, tear each other down, and we've got to break that cycle. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure how we can accomplish I know that. It. I know it. Um, let's just say that, you know, our men and women of God, gotta, we have to start standing up and we have to stop playing church and really be the church and get out here on these Oof. streets again and really begin to, to speak the word and speak the truth and, and put ourselves to the side and not use his name in vain. And it's, man. You know, I, I have been saying this a lot and you... Uh, I've been saying this a lot lately on my show. I have an affinity for black people. I am black. And I think that we have lost the propaganda game. There's been Mm -hmm. so much bad things put out on us Mm -hmm. that there's no way for not only other people to think good about us, Mm -hmm. but there's hardly any way for us to think good about ourselves. And I use the the thing that I use most often to as an example of that is when people say black on black crime Mm -hmm. as if white on white crime doesn't exist, as if Mexican on Mexican crime doesn't exist, as if uh, Chinese on Chinese crime doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. The question is why is it that everything that happens bad gets labeled black but then when it when another um, ethnicity or culture does it it doesn't get a label to it there's no label to it but Fantasia. I just told you why because we are the what the, the chosen, chosen ones, ones. Hmm. why don't we know that because we ain't looking We ain't searching. We're not digging deep. We're not educating ourselves. What's educating us is the wrong things that we're listening to, that we're watching is we have to educate ourselves. It's Fantasia on the Tammy Mack Show, KJLH. Every now and then I still get a flashback.